I think the court should view all of her behavior in the context of a domestic violence victim. In arguing that Brittany Barone be freed on bail, the defense alleged a long history of abuse by her husband, Armando Barone, citing interviews with Brittany's co-workers. First female co-worker describes Armando Barron as very controlling. She said that she knew about the, quote, abuse. Brittany's husband, Armando, is charged with murder for allegedly shooting Jonathan Amaral in Ringe last September. Brittany told police she was having an affair with Amaral. Prosecutors say Brittany's behavior proves she is a danger. But what we do know is that even after seeing Jonathan get tortured and shot multiple times and hearing him moaning in the back of his car, she made absolutely no attempts to help him. Emerald's body was discovered in northern New Hampshire. The attorney general's office says there were a lot of times when Brittany could have gone for help. She chose to hide and destroy evidence. She chose to stay when she could have left. And her acts were all in the benefit of her homicidal husband. A husband that the defense maintains Brittany was terrified of, keeping her from thinking clearly about her situation. It's conduct that she, um, that she engaged in with a cut in her head, with a broken nose, with two black eyes, with a ruptured blood vessel in her eye, with a bruised neck from having been choked, and with bruises all over her body. The judge, however, agreed with the prosecution that through her actions, Brittany does pose a danger to the public, so she will remain in jail. Her trial is tentatively scheduled for December, though there is the possibility it could come sooner, and there's always the possibility of a plea bargain. Reporting live, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.